Hi there, Stan the Annuity Man, America's Annuity Agent. I am matching. The hat matches, the shirt matches. You're like, is that the way you dress every single day? Pretty much. You know, you got to wear it on your sleeve, right? So what's on my sleeve? This is A. Great story about the A. You see that? I had this idea of becoming the annuity superhero, but then my uh, staff was like, we do not want to see you in one of those costumes. So that got nixed. So really, that's, that stands for Stanarchy, like the A for Stanarchy, like Stan Anarchy. Like, power to the annuity people. Which leads me to, do you really wear the will do, not might do on your sleeve? You always say, on an annuity for what it will do, not what it might do. No, but I wear it on my back. See? Will do, not might do. I'm passionate about this stuff, but I'm also passionate about why you should own an annuity. But there's one more thing I'm even more passionate about. is about the ages that you need to purchase an annuity. What's the right age? When's too young? When's too old? When's the right? When's the porridge just right for an annuity stand, the annuity man? Well, I'm going to go through age ranges, and if the age ranges don't fit my parameters of being a fiduciary, I'm going to start yelling, which is always good because they don't know what to do with the mic above me. They're like, raise the volume, capital capacitor, he's blowing it out again. He's pegging the thing when I'm yelling. But there are some ages that... I'll get calls and they're like, well, this guy told me that I should buy an annuity. And I'm like, how old are you? You sound, you sound older than my cowboy boots. And they'll tell me, I'm like, do not buy an annuity! Or an older person getting pitched an annuity that is not appropriate for them. We're going to go through all of that. But as you know, I'm a buddy musical star outside of Stan the Annuity Man. I, may, I play a mean guitar that no one's ever heard because I won't let anyone listen to me. But I love music. We're going to hit the music right now. All right, so let's look at the first age group, ages 18 to 34. Now, first of all, 18 to 34 year olds should never, ever, 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 ever buy an annuity of any type. I don't care if the agent or advisor needs to make a car payment, a home payment, um, you know, whatever. You know, a child support payment, it doesn't warrant an 18 to 34 year old buying an annuity. Period. You have so much life expectancy ahead of you that you need growth. You can afford markets going up and down and up and down and up and down and hiccup and hiccup and hiccup. You can afford to do that. You can afford that to happen. You do not need to lock up your money for income for life. You do not need an index annuity at 18 to 34 years old. And by the way, I know we have a lot of young people watching this because I'm so darn vibrant and just energetic as staying the annuity man, and I appreciate you following me and watching this stuff because it is informative. You have to admit that. But you do not need an annuity. If you're 18 to 34 years old and someone pitches you an annuity, punch them in the face, do the time in... No, don't do that. But if you did, you can do the time in prison because it's worth it. And if you're an agent and advisor out there and you're pitching it to young people, you should be ashamed of yourself. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Here's the reason why, 18 to 34 year olds, let's just listen, lean in. You need market growth. You need money to have market growth potential, unlimited upside, and there's not an annuity on the planet that provides unlimited upside. Yes, even you variable annuity people, you know there's limited choices. With annuities, you're going to have limited choices or limitations on the upside. If you're 18 to 34, you do not need those limitations. Hey, one more thing. I was moving on to the next age group I was going to rant on, okay? But for the 18 to 34, one of the biggest reasons you do not want to buy an annuity like a deferred annuity, like an index annuity, is because the IRS has a little rule, and it's called the 59 and a half rule. And what does that mean, Stan, the annuity man, America's annuity agent? That means if you're 18 to 34 in the age range or too young to buy an annuity, and you buy this index annuity that the person said is good, you're going to get market upside with no downside, which is a lie, and you take money out of that before you're age 59 and a half, there is a 10% IRS penalty because you're taking it out before age 59 and a half. Have I made myself clear? Thank you. So let's talk about ages 35 to, say, 49, right before you get to 50. Even for these people, I'm going to tell you that you should not buy an annuity, period. You still have a long life expectancy. You still can weather the storm of market growth and market volatility. 
you know, if you're in your 30s and 40s, absolutely early 40s, just do not buy an annuity. Going back to that 59 and a half rule, if you buy a deferred, in, de deferred uh, annuity like a multi-year guarantee annuity or um, a, a fixed index annuity, if you take money out before you're 59 and a half, there's a 10% IRS penalty on that money you're taking out. And there's a lot of agents and advisors don't even know that rule, which they should know that rule if they're selling anything. So 35 to 49-ish, that range, it's a push. You really, really, really should not buy an annuity of any type. The only way that you're probably going to fall into an annuity is if you inherit an annuity. And I've done a lot of videos on an inheriting an annuity, your, the rules of inheriting an annuity. And I would advise you, if you're in that situation where somebody, your know, mom, dad, aunt, whatever, left you an annuity, you're the, you're the beneficiary of that, um, you need to set a time to talk with me. Go to theannuityman.com, uh, set a time. You can book a call with me, and we will go through the details of what you've inherited, and I'll walk you through the choices so you can make an informed choice. Just don't get – got to be careful who you're asking out, out there because they're going to be, be people trying to flip you and sell you stuff and do all kinds of things. But when you inherit an annuity in that age range, whether it's you know 18 to, to 49 – you need to talk to me. The other kind of asterisk thing that I'll put out there for these youngsters and annuities, there are such things as structured settlements um, that happen when people are in accidents and a judge hits the gavel and says, you know what, um, you know, there's a lawsuit involved, it's a legal process, and they, they get an annuity for that young person because they were in an accident, et cetera. That's not what I'm talking about. Even though you know, people say, well, I have a, you know, a niece that got an annuity because she was in an accident. That's called a structured settlement. That's fine. That's when it's part of a legal process to take care of that person that's been injured. But that person didn't make a decision to buy the annuity. They didn't even make a decision to get in the accident. It is what it is. The other tiny little asterisk that I'm going to put out there, and I have maybe five clients that fit into this, um, and that's the reason it's important to talk to me. These are super duper, uber, uber, uber wealthy entrepreneurs. I mean, uber wealthy entrepreneurs. And a lot of them are in their like early 40s, maybe early 50s. And I, when they first called, I remember saying, you're too young. And they're saying, well, I, I read this article that you wrote a long time ago, Stan the Annuity Man, about there are some states that can, that can protect your assets from you know, bad lawsuits or things like that, you know, hit and run type lawsuits where people are trying to get after your money and annuities will protect that. In specific situations, those might fit, but for the 99% of all of you that fit under that age range, it, it doesn't fit. But if you're the person out there making 10, 15, 20 million or whatever, and you make more money doing your business, you just want to protect what you have and protect it from creditors, annuities could fit. But overall, looking at those two age ranges, 49 and below, I just don't see annuities being appropriate and suitable because you need market growth. Okay, the next age range is like 50 to 64. You're 50 years old and, or you're up to 64 years old. At this point in time, anyone over 50, it's okay to start looking into annuities. I would encourage you to go to my site at theannuityman.com, get my books, we'll send them to you for free and under no obligation, this really nice gold foil Willy Wonka looking package, and you'll say, wow, that's cool. And you'll be able to read up about it. I would encourage you to, you know, this channel has a playlist. If you look underneath you, there's a playlist. There's all kinds that we break it down into the product types. Um, I have a fun with annuities podcast where I have, you know, I have me on there talking about annuities. I have celebrity guests on there that talk about, you know, investments and all other things as well. Get educated. Once you're in your 50s, you need to start getting educated about annuities because you're, if you're not going toward retirement soon, you're thinking about it. You're trying to plan for it. So 50 to 64, you need to start thinking, do I want to transfer risk? What does my lifetime income look like? What does my income floor look like? Do I want to protect some principle right here as I get closer toward the finish line? And everyone's finish line of work is different. Like I got a call the other day and the gentleman was 50. I said, you're kind of young for um, an annuity of any type. And he goes, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm retiring at probably age 54 or 55. First of all, kudos to you. But second of all, then let's start looking at it. I did explain the 59 and a half rule, meaning that, you know, we have to be careful not to take money out of a deferred annuity like a MIGA or a, an indexed annuity and incur that IRS penalty. 
But you can get around that, and, and that's the reason you got to talk to me if you were doing a annuitization type product. You can get around that penalty. But once again, I'm going to ask a bunch of questions. What do you want the money to contractually do? When do you want those contractual guarantees to start? You know, I'm going to tell you the PIL acronym, Principal Protection, Income for Life, Legacy, and Long-Term Care. We're going to look at your situation and maybe, maybe start looking at annuities from a laddering approach, laddering the purchases in because you're in your 50s, et cetera. But the bottom line, once you hit 50, we probably need to start looking at it. All right, the last category is the 65 and older. You know, 10,000 baby boomers are hitting the age 65 every single day. That doesn't mean you need to buy an annuity, but that means that everyone's going to try to sell you one. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. You got to be very careful. Got a call the other day. A gentleman was uh, actually in his late 70s, and someone was trying to sell him a 10 year surrender indexed annuity. That's not an appropriate and suitable recommendation in most cases. And when I looked at it, it was not. Um, when you get older, you need to have the maturity shorter if possible. It makes total sense. So be very careful out there. If you're 65 and, and older, yes, you probably need to be looking at annuity types for at least lifetime income to combine with Social Security or from a principal protection standpoint because you don't want to lose money. You're in Chapter 2 of your life and you want to just go live and you want to focus on lifestyle. So in conclusion about the ages, 50 and I mean, I'll just synopsize this very quickly. Under 50? Eh, probably not. Uh, probably not. If you want to talk to me about it and give me your specific situation and have me say no personally to you, I'll do that. Or if it's something that's really outside the box, then we can, we can talk about it. But, um, you know, when you're above 50 and, and beyond 50, might want to start looking at it, might want to start getting educated on the annuity types available, what they do, and the contractual guarantees for your specific situation. Hey, I encourage you to, to go to my site, theannuityman.com, and run quotes Run quotes 24-7, 365 on the best calculators, annuity calculators on the planet. Get my six annuity owner's manuals. We'll ship them to you for free, hard copy. And book a call with me one-on-one -on -one with, yeah, me, Stan the Annuity Man, and we will dig into your specific situation and confidentially put together a customized plan for you. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next Stan the Annuity Man YouTube video.